be the Ghana tag, yep. Um, 6 March 1957, we're given our independence, and today is 6 March, so we're celebrating our 55th independence. So I thought today would be a great day to do this tag on. Um, I'll try and make it as interesting as I can um, and try and make it a bit fun, add a bit of an accent to it, speak about my language and obviously if you're not Ghanaian or you don't understand our language then I'll just annotate it so you guys you know, will know exactly what I'm saying or what I'm talking about. Don't leave anyone out, want everyone to enjoy it um, as much as they can. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this tag. Yes, um, so like I was saying before, we were given our independence on 6 March 1957 and uh, that was 55 years ago. So, um, big up to all my Ghanaians out there, you know, my fellow Ghanaians, you know, we, we need to celebrate hard and I know every year, you know, um, independence is very, very important to Ghanaians. We always do loads of celebrations, you know, we go to the O2, we do loads of partying and gathering and things like that so i know a lot of people knows about ghana independence already because you know only even today there's loads of things on facebook and twitter about ghana so if you've not heard or you've not seen then in fact i don't know where you've been but today six march is ghana independence um and i just want to thank god you know because he's really blessed our country he's kept us strong he's given us another year of freedom you know because other african countries are there fighting they're confused and stuff like that. But Ghana, no, they be, they be, we're not like that. You know, God has blessed us and keep us together um, with love and peace and unity. So, you know, we thank God, we thank God. So, I'm going to go straight on to the questions because, no, there's just no time. So, the first question, when was the last time you were in Ghana? Hmm. This, I'm, I'm even ashamed, disgraced to even say, the last time I was actually in Ghana was 2004. I went to ask my mom, I was hoping she was going to say 2006 because me, I couldn't really remember. And she said 2004 and I said no, 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 it can't be, it can't be 8 years ago. And she said yes, it is. I was arguing with her and then she brought my passport to show me. And it told me the day that I arrived back into this country and it was since March 2004. So I'm very, very, very disappointed. I didn't even know it was that long, you know. I didn't know it was 8 years ago, but by force and by God's grace, I will go this year, December. I was meant to go last year, but last year Christmas, but just did not happen you know and I was I even nearly wanted to cry I saw so many people's pictures on Facebook and on BBM then the bikinis and they're posing and they're going out and enjoying and I was here in this country in this this stupid weather but by God's grace I will see Ghana this yeah um, so yeah Ghana watch out for me um, where do you live in Ghana and what tribe are you from? I live in Accra, you know, the famous Accra, the city of Ghana. And um, I live in Nungwa, which is near Spinters Road and um, where Teshi and stuff like that. You know, a lot of people don't know Nungwa, but um, it is where Labadi Beach is. I know most people know Labadi Beach. You know, I live like only 15 minutes away, 10 15 minutes away from the body beach and you know it stretches behind my house so i've actually put a beach behind my house which is you know very very interesting i'm very happy so that is where i live in ghana and i am no half i'm not a son um i can't even say it i'm trying to say it in the ghanaian way me yeah as i'm not a son a son me yeah as i won't even go that far i'm not ashanti yes that is how the English people say Ashanti. So I'm not Ashanti, as most Ghanaians claim to be, but Ashanti is not the only um, tribe in Ghana. So I'm Bruno Hafo. Um, my, my mom is from Ababu number four. My dad is from Doma, so we are from Bruno Hafo, which is just on top of um, Ashanti. Do you have a Ghanaian name and what does it mean? Oh, yes, of course. There's no Ghanaian that does not have a Ghanaian name because if you're Ghanaian, you automatically have a Ghanaian name when you're born. Um, I know a lot of people know this, but if you don't know this, you know, you're automatically given a name because each day that you're born, you have a name. A boy, the boys have their name and the girls have their name. Um, and apart from that, my actual 
you know, Ghana names Ohima Abna Damoya for him. Um, Ohima means princess, and Dama is my dad's surname, you know. And you know, these English people they said Damoa, it kills me when they say that, but there's nothing I can do. But it's actually Damoa, and Yabua is my grandfather's name. But you know, the names that I was talking about, the dead names, I just want to tell you guys, you know, I know most people know it. But the way some people pronounce it, you know, the English people pronounce it, I know they can't help it, but it just kills my soul because the way they demolish the name, it's, it's very painful. But I just want to tell you guys, you know, so that you guys know which name is for which day. So if you're born on Monday, your boy is Kojo or Kwejo, not Kojo. No, 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 no. Debbie, it is Kojo or Kwejo. And if you're a girl, it is Ajua, not Ajua or Adua. No, 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 it's Ajua. Tuesday, like me. Big up to the Tuesday bombs, you know. We are called, the girls are called Abena, not Abena or Abena. No, no, they be. It is Abena. You know, and they used to call me in Ghana, they called me Abena Chewa because I was so stubborn. So the Chewa the back means you're stubborn, you know, when you're dead. So they used to call me Abena Chewa, but they don't call me that no more, even though I'm still stubborn, you know. But um, yeah, that's the girls and the boys is Kwabena, not Kwabina. It's Kwabena. You know, you have to pronounce it. So the name sounds beautiful, you know. You don't just demolish someone's name like that. The Wednesday ones, the boy is called Kweku, not Kwaku. Kweku. And the girls are called Equia, not Equia. No. It is Equia. Yeah, Equia. Yeah? Yes. Make sure you keep that in your notebook. And Thursday is Yao, not Wow. Oh, yow. No, no, no. Yow. And the girls is um, ya. Yeah. Not ya. It is ya. And Friday is, you know, the popular one is coffee. Not coffee. 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 Yes. And the girls are Ephia. Not Ephia or Afua. Ah, there be. It is Ephia. Saturday is Kwame, not Kwame, Kwame, and the girls is Amma, not Amma, Amma, no, 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 it's, uh, yeah, Amma, and Sunday is, you know, another popular one is Akwesi, not Akwazi, you don't see, you don't see no Z there, it's A-K-W-A-S-I, not Z-I, Akwesi, and the girls is a kosuya, not a kesia, or another one because says a kos, you know. So either one. So those are those are the names and the days. So like I said, it's automatically given to you. So I'm um, Ohima Abna Damwa Yabua. Um, do you speak your language? Of course. Of course. You know, speaking my language is very important to me. You know, if you don't know how to speak the language. There's nothing you can do about it, but you know, Ghana for years, yeah. You know, us, us English born, British born, or wherever we are born, except for Ghana, yes, yeah, because if you're you know, it will help us in the future. You know, I'm not saying it don't have to be tree, wherever you're from, if you're Ghana, fancy, you know how to speak it a bit, you know. And I know sometimes when we say it, the uncles and the aunties and our mom and dads laugh at us because of the way we say it. But at least we try, you know. There are some people that say, I understand, but I can't speak it. Which is fair enough because not everybody that will be able to speak it. Some people that don't speak at home, so they're not used to it. But let's try, let's try, you know. I represent our country very well. So yes, my country power. Um, what favorite? What's your favorite Ghanaian food? Me, I don't have a favorite because I eat all. I eat all. There's no Ghanaian food I don't say that I don't like. You know, there's um Hokoni beans, which is plantain and beans, which I love. I love keke. I just love it. And um there's also fufu and last soup, chicken soup, a ben kwan, peanut soup. And cutting quite ah, there's the soups are just there, and what else? There's so many, it's not, I can't even think of it. The, the common jollof, you know, yeah, yeah, jollof, yeah, yeah, you know, 
the toner when I said that, but yeah. You know, there's jollof and the salad and the chicken, and then there's also um, kenke and moko, minchinam, and our fish, which is kenke. I'm going to show you all this stuff as well because I've got a few in my cupboard, so I'll show you and just explain stuff to you. But that's just a few of our foods that today for lunch, no, yeah, for lunch I had, no, for dinner, I had yam and beans you know the beans i can eat with cocoa i eat it with yam as well so that's what i had i'm going to show you that as well so that's how some of my the foods from ghana i mean i don't really have a favorite you know um what around your house to present your culture <laughs> yeah i've got it all here as because i don't know if you can see but i've got it all here. yeah so the stuff is um this is the first thing i'm going to show you is the flag you know i know most people know the ghana flag i got a big one folded somewhere in my wardrobe cupboard place but uh, I'll show you the small one that I keep on top of my sewing machine um, it looks like this just small you know you just wave your bust like that and then um, the flag has actually got some meaning you know the red means um, the blood that our ancestors shed or the blood that people shed you know during the, um, before the independence you know that's, that's that's what it means and then the yellow is actually on the actual Ghana flag it's actually a gold but we just use yellow anyway um which means our our wealth and our minerals you know that we have in the country you know so this is actually gold and and the green means um you know the riches of our forest and the farms and then the lands that we have so that's what the green means and the black you know the black star the black Star in the middle that everyone knows, you know, Ghanaians or Ghana's called you know black stars, and um, Ghanaians are called black stars, or our football team is called black stars. So I know most people have heard black stars before, and that is that is you know, this is where the black stars come from because of the star in the middle. And um, it is it to me, it means the lone star of African freedom, you know, so the freedom of just Africa in general, you know, that's what the black star means. So this is the meaning of the flag. Um, and then I also have like a strip of kente like this is another version um, or color or design of kente and this is like the actual heavy one because the heavy one is the real one which is actually woven you know people actually you know weave it is woven and it's really really heavy when you do cut by a sleet which is a top and like a long skirt um, it's really really heavy when you wear it and this is it but it doesn't really feel heavy in my hand because it is just a strip I just normally put it around like a scarf or I put it around my head or something like that so you know these are what the, the, the queens and the kings and the princesses and them our mothers aunties and uncles and people where they really they can handle the heavy ones us as young ones we can't so we we normally have the materials like the same design and everything but it's just that it's just in a lighter form you know the material is lighter and this is one of it and this is the actual kente color that is you know the original kente color it is this it is orange you know um but it's the heavy one of course um but this is just a material one and it, this is also a strip that i just put around my head you know when my hair is messy and i can't be bothered to do nothing with it i just use that and another thing also that i've got is this aqua bar and um, sort of frame that I've got here. It's actually a watch, but a watch does not work. But um, it says Aquaba, which means welcome. I know a lot of people know what Aquaba means as well. So, um, yes, um, this is another thing. And obviously, it's got a canter around it, and it's got this beautiful woman in the middle representing, you know. So, that's another thing. Uh -huh. So, the next question What is a ridiculous question you've been asked about your culture? Um, to be honest, I have not been asked any questions, but people like to say that, you know, our country is poor and things like that, and how we live in straw houses and stuff like that. Yeah, you think we live in straw houses? You think in this country the flats and the houses you live in are big? Go and see back home, not even only in Ghana, but in Africa in general. Go and see back home and see the houses that we're living in. It is not two, three, four bedrooms. It is seven and ten or even more. Come and see our garden, our front yard. Oh, 
some people have not I, I don't blame them because I'm not actually going to see see with their own two eyes how beautiful Ghana or even Africa is and the buildings that we have there the houses that we live in you think these houses that we live in in London you think these are houses go and see back home and they will show you what houses are so beautiful some of them are top and bottom some of them are just big and round oh we thank God we thank God but you know these these brothels, these brothels, the, the brownies and brothels for no, they, they, they don't, they just don't know because I've not seen it. I don't blame them. Hopefully one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, they will realize and they will know that for real that we're not poor like like they think that we are. But you know, to be honest, uh, no ridiculous question have been. Oh, except for our language, you know, people say tree as in T R E E. It is tree, tree, T W I. That's the only thing I will, I will, I will complain about, you know. And the way they pronounce our names, but no one can help it. You know, even non-English people like other countries, they pronounce it how it is spelled. So I don't blame them. But what question I've been asked? I've not been asked no ridiculous question. And people know me. If they ask me a ridiculous question, I'll give it to you. Because you should not ask no nonsense question like that, for real, you know. So, um, yes, and then the last question, what is your favourite Ghanaian saying? Hey, this is one, I can't think of it, you know. But there's one that I always say uh, when I'm about to eat. You can't chop time, no friend. You know, chop time no friend. Cause when you have your, my mom always says this: when you get your food and it's time to eat, you don't know nobody. You don't know nobody because the food is more important to you than anything else. So it's chop time no friend, and that can also mean you know every man for himself. You know, it's me and myself. You know, I don't know nobody. So that's another saying. And um. I think that is all the questions. There are so many different questions, but this video will go on for long. So I've just chosen the ones that I want to answer and I think I can answer. So hopefully, you know, you guys have enjoyed this a little bit, you know. Um, even if you're not Ghanaian, I know the Ghanaians will like it a bit more. But if you're not Ghanaian, I hope you have also enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions or anything to say, you know, just leave a little something something at the bottom and I'll try and get back to you, you know. But um, I hope you guys really did enjoy this, you know, and um, big up to all my Ghanaians and all my Africans, you know, and all my bronies and buffalo falls and, you know, all my jamos, you know, I would have fun with this, you know, we will be big up to you guys as well. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice evening and I'll see you guys surely in my next video.